evil that was getting ready to unfold, you thought things were already evil, they were about to launch the full evil. Total takeover of the media, arresting patriots, torturing us, I mean, the whole nine yards. And it, just, it was so horrible that even the intelligence agencies just said, we just, just we can't do this. This is crazy. It's like a comic book of evil. I mean, it's just so, it's so evil. You, you see movies, you read history books, both fiction and nonfiction. You think things like this can't really be happening till, till you see it happen. I and mean, we saw a guy trying to get three llamas in this morning past Homeland Security. And it's like, we had to take photos of there. No one would believe it. I'm going to put those up later. It's like, like look at a bomb in the llama or something. I mean, it's just so much. My point is, crazy stuff's going on. Roger Stone shows up in a huge top hat. He's been poisoned by polonium. I mean, we're living in crazy times. To the left, the right, all points of the compass. It is wild. Sir, tell us who you are and tell us what you think about this today. Yeah. Good to meet you. Nice, here. nice, nice to be here, and nice to see you. And my name is Philip Thomas. I'm a naturalized American citizen. I lived in many parts of the world. I lived in Muslim countries, and I know how human rights are being violated. Uh, you know, and people, are, people of other religions are treated like dirt. And this country is a great country. For the past eight years, we had a nightmare with Obama, and that nightmare is over today. Amen. Yeah, Woo! yeah, America. yeah. As that the other brother, the African-American brother said, a uh, lot of quotation he gave from the Bible, you read da Daniel chapter 2, you will find God is the installer and God is the remover of kings. Today, God had installed Mr. Trump as the president of this country. That's right. We yeah. voted, but nothing yeah. the enemy could do worked. It all turned against it was providence. Yeah. I can't tell people the providence I've experienced. You know, I, my heart bleeds when I see the young people are supporting Democratic Party, which is, which is directionless. And now... You know what's happening with Democratic Party? They're trying to take Keith Ells Ellison as the chief, and he is an Islamist. He wants to destroy the United States. And Americans should wake up. If you don't wake up, you will be in your slumber, and your slumber will lead to death. Okay. The war, is, Muslims have divided the world into two parts, Darul Harb and Darul Islam. Where Islamic rule is there, it is known as Darul Islam, which means house of Islam. And where there is no Islamic rule, it is known as Darul Harb, which means house of war. And the house of Islam should wage constantly war against the house of war, which is Darul Harb. Now, America is considered as Darul Harb by the Darul Islam, and they are waging a war against us. Jihad is the weapon they are using. Could you believe, though, that in Europe and here, they actually sold yeah. out, and Brennan, as yeah. the head of the CIA, is a hardcore Wahhabist, yes. and that this has been put up with. Yeah. And so we have to be careful, and Alex Jones is doing a great job. I've been watching his, his videos his, on YouTube, and my son, who lives in India, always calls and tells me, don't forget, don't, don't, don't neglect Alex Jones' views. He, it's very important, and it will save America. And I'm so glad. I'm sure there's a huge listeners in India. Yeah, of course you have. And day after tomorrow, I'm flying to India. And I'm going to be an ambassador for Mr. Trump. Well, great, but enough about yeah. me. Talk about, yeah. talk, about, yeah. talk about where you see the country going. Pardon? Enough about me. I mean, talk about where you see Oh, sorry, yeah, yeah. So, the, so we have to be very careful about the Islamic agenda. You know, they say Muslims are all good. Oh, let them be good at home, okay? But they, are, they want to destroy the United States. Outside the United States, they said uh, America is a devil. But here they say, God bless America. It's taqiyya. There's an Arabic, the Muslim doctrine called al taqiyya Lie before your enemy. But hate them in your heart. That's what's happening. So America should wake up and give an answer. Oh, I yeah. think America's starting to wake up. Yes. <laughs> if they yeah. kill Trump, which I know they're seriously considering doing, yeah. I think it'll be an even bigger defeat no, no. for them. I don't think that will happen because our police, our military, our secret service, they're all strong. No, no, they're I, the best. I agree, but they're going to try is what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, of course, yes. Yes, of course, they'll try, but they try to be in vain. But Trump will triumph. Jesus will protect. Jesus will protect, yes. Because God is the installer, and Yahweh has installed Mr. Trump to become the president of this greatest nation and the most, the greatest superpower ever in the history of mankind. So I'm so glad to be here. And if you want some of some of, some of, some of my views, I can tell you uh, what uh, you know. America should become strong. A strong America is the one which will stop Islamization of this world. Well, let's talk about this. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look at how. Yeah. Look at how the globalists are so upset right now. They can tell the tide's turning. Q, I got to get your view. You got to use all this thing. Get over here. No, you're getting on there. I'm sorry. You're doing it. You're doing it. So thank you, sir. Oh, thank really thank you very much. Here, we'll hear the back of his head. What do yeah. you think about the situation? Uh, hey, Zimmerman, you get in there. I didn't know Zimmerman was here. Yeah. Go ahead, Zimmerman. Tell us what you think. Uh, this entire inauguration has been extremely historic, obviously. Right. And uh, just seeing the Nothing energy. Historic. Completely. 
Seeing the a energy seismic of- pole shift, a, 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 a supernova of enlightenment, a tidal release of the titans of liberty. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, go ahead. The, the look people I'll had. The words. <laughs> The look people had going in this morning was obviously already high energy, but just leaving today, seeing all the people leaving, uh, they're re-energized. They're rejuvenated and, like, ready to, to make America great again. Absolutely. And, uh, again, it's not that the, re- the Republican establishment's out to get Trump. I hate the Republican establishment, but so are the Democrats. It's so obvious that he's anti-New World Order and awesome. You're awesome. Come on here on air. I made it here. To well, you're awesome. Oh, my God. I no, you're awesome. You. You're awesome. Here, talk to folks out there. You. Come on, stop. Here, talk well, to folks out there. I have my info wars right now here. Oh, you got your info wars live. I have my info Thank you. Go ahead, oh talk to folks. Oh, my God. Tell Somebody what you take about a this. picture of me, please. What do you think about the whole inauguration? I am, like, so... I, I am, like, my heart is so happy. I just... I just love this. I love Mr. Trump. I met him in 2013, and he is such a good person. And when I found out he was running... I had to run down and fly down to Miami, and he has such a good heart. He is not a racist. He loves this country, and he just wants to unite us, just like he said in the speech. We all bleed red, every one of us, white, red, white, you know, black, Hispanic, um, Japanese, whoever you are. We are all red, and we are patriots, and I love Alex Jones because he's the only one I listen to. Well, thanks for coming. It was awesome. History happened. I was going to bring my son, but it's just too dangerous. They were attacking women. I mean, all the women were coming by bleeding. And I go, what goes on? Women on crutches. Old, old ladies are like, they're beating us up trying to get in. The left is down there. And I went down there, and they attacked us. I, I mean, it's just like, what the hell? And they really go, Nazi, Nazi, Nazi. And like, I'm like, what the hell are you talking about? They're like, Putin's a Nazi. I'm like, it's the Russians. Beat the Nazis, dumbass. They just don't know anything. They just have no historical, they just believe MSNBC. But I'll tell you, only a few thousand of the protesters, millions of people awake, and and and, and, and your BS is coming to an end. So, yes. Yes. yeah, yes. yeah. Yes. 1776 worldwide. All right, listen, guys. Uh, David Knight, you guys can pop in whenever you want here. David, what do you think of all this? Leanne, uh, everybody. Well, you know, Alex, uh, listening to the uh, preachers that have been there and the other crowd that have been there, I think it's pretty important to... to Go back and look at what Franklin Graham said. You know, he said in the Bible, as he got up and spoke, he said in the Bible, rain is a sign of God's blessing, and it started to rain when you came to the platform. Mm -hmm. I think it's real important to look at the massive difference between Donald Trump and Barack Obama. Donald, it was Barack Obama who who denigrated people, who looked to God, said these bitter clingers with their Bibles and their guns. Well, you know what? Maybe we're better clingers. Not that we're better people, but we're clinging to better (laughs) Thing. Right. Okay. And what we're seeing here from Donald Trump is someone who is uh, is, is uh, going to um, uh, honor God, as that uh, pastor said, put God first, look for his blessing. And I think another key thing that we need to look at here, as Donald Trump talked about God, deferred to God as our protector, he also referred to himself only three times in two different sentences, as the Daily Caller points out. And yet we saw just last night, Barack Obama in his final speech to the press referred to himself 45 times, even talked about himself as being uh, no drama Obama. So that's the, you know, <laughs> that's the 75 difference. 75 times in his farewell address, 118 times when he was out stumping for Hillary Clinton. People actually thought he was going to be running for president again because he was talking about himself so much. How refreshing to see Donald Trump say, this is giving the power back to you, the people. It's not about me. That's right, Leanne. And we're going to go back to you in just a moment. I'm going to get a few more people in here, and I'm going to hand the baton to you guys. Uh, and, you, know, you ladies that want to talk, get ready. Uh, go ahead, ma'am. Hi, my name's Dean. I, I, uh, I'm here with Alex Jones. We're celebrating one of the most historic things that ever happened in the United States of America. We actually got the power back to the people, and Donald Trump gave us that power today. And God blessed us. God blessed America. God blessed Donald Trump today. And I just thank God for you, Alex Jones, for helping to wake so many people up. You don't realize how many people you touched. I've been listening to you for over a decade and been following what you're, the truth. And I'm like, God bless you for... Well, it's very humbling. Thank you. But thank God bless you guys for being involved and in not letting the media bully you into your submission. Uh, ladies, who wasn't wanted to talk from Pennsylvania? Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank great you. Job. Stop, please. God, stop. God bless you. I'll tell you this. I'm going to say this to these ladies. What's happening here is the globalists got so delusional that all their hate and all their lies and all their disinfo didn't turn people the way they thought it turned them away from them. Mm -hmm. They have become insane and they can't admit they're failing on every front. And Trump has said he's changed the last few years. I have too, but so has everybody else. 
it's like the hundred monkey thing. If you want to not believe in spirit or sixth sense, which that's been proven, it's that they'll have like an island with monkeys 20 miles away, the same species. And as soon as a certain number of monkeys on one island learn something, they don't know why, suddenly the other one's 20 miles away learning. And so there's this, there's something going on, and it's like it's it's, it's the invisible human internet. Mm -hmm. And so right now, Trump is growing too. And, and, and Trump is, imagine all the stuff he's getting hit by in the discernment. Mm -hmm. And he's asking God for providence and to lead God and direct him. Imagine what he's going to be given. Just as George Washington grew, grew, grew with all the discernment he was given. Uh, Come on, ma'am. Come on in here. Whoever wants to get in here. And I'm going to hand the baton over right now for the next 15 minutes. David Knight, you guys will be over in a minute. Uh, come on in here, sir. Or ma'am, if you want to talk, go ahead. Right. Just, whoever wants to talk, just jump in. Okay. I just want to say it's uh, it's an amazing experience being here and finally having a previous regime end and be, uh, I don't know, given the truth and a new light by Alex and all the people in the new media. And uh, I just, uh, an unabashed plug, DNA of force. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Biotruth Selenium, please buy the products. They're fantastic. And, uh, you know, I know you don't plug enough. And uh, so just buy and support the freedom. Uh, we're crushing the old stream media, and it's a new dawn. It's a new era. It's exciting. It's, I can't believe it's over. And oh, it's, I like that. The old it's stream. The era of Trump. Media. It's the era of the people. It's the era of uh, a new America. So. Beautiful, brother. Okay. Beautiful. All right, guys. Anybody else? I'm going to hand the baton back to our crew. All right, run on in here. Come on in. I'm a college student. I just want to say it's been incredible to watch how much the political landscape has changed in the last uh, couple of months. Just being able to express yourself uh, has been something that we've been unable to do because as soon as you say something, you're labeled, you're attacked, and it's a way of, of, of controlling our speech, and it's a way of controlling us. And uh, it's just been amazing to see that shift change, and it's important that young people start to get involved, and we start fighting back against this political correctness that has completely destroyed academia. I mean, it's, it's been, it's been it, another it, nightmare. It's, just, it, it's been to destroy free thought, absolutely. Well, and it's important that we start fighting back because that's all we have. We need to ha be autonomous and independent, mm -hmm. and we need to think analytically and critically. And if we do that, we'll be more informed. Hey, I love you guys. I got to roll out. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Yeah. You guys. Okay. Great job. Come on, I love you. Could I just have one picture? All right, anybody else want to say something? I'll say one thing real quick. Um, Montgomery County, Pennsylvania Southeast Regional Office, and I worked against the GOP to support Trump. There were a lot of people that were just not on board for Trump where I work, and it was all volunteer. We grassroots Pennsylvania, so. Good job. Anyway, PA for Trump. Yay. <laughs> all right, thank you. Anybody yeah, else want to talk? they had to work against people in their own Thanks party. Oh, yeah. There we'll go. continue. Hey, how's it going? Mm -hmm. This is Glenn Zarmanov reporting live from Washington, D.C. We are Change New Jersey, Jersey City for 9-11 Truth. I've been in the info war since 2001, since I found Alex Jones. Of course, I was already awake to 9-11 Truth before that because I'm a 9-11 eyewitness. You can please check out my YouTube channel, Glenn Zarmanov, G-L-E-N-N-Z-A-R-M-A-N-O-V. And you can find the five terabytes that came out in 2000 and test declassified from NIST that they withheld intentionally hmm. 5,000 gigabytes of pre previously kept secret videos and photos from 9-11 that proves the whole thing is an inside job. Before we had speculation and okay. conjecture, now we have five terabytes. Please check it out. Glenn Zarmanov. Thanks, Glenn. All right. Thanks. Hey. Hey guys, uh, I'm running low on batteries, so maybe like two more people, and then we'll have to uh, get to end it. But here's here's another fine fellow who came up. Here you go, sir. Oh hi, uh, I'm Will Cody. I was just walking down there from the rally, right, coming over here, and these like these Antifa guys, or I don't know what, they like they're wearing black, they had like bandanas on, you know, all black. They're carrying a big flag, like a hammer and sickle on it, and they, like they spit on me, like oh. it's just terrible. Like they're all radicalized there. People are just terrible. <laughs> they're disgusting. All right, man. Thanks a lot. Wow. Well, it looks like the crowd has dissipated as soon as uh, Alex Jones walked off. And um, so I'm going to throw it back to you guys. I'm running low on battery anyway. This is Rob Dew reporting from just outside the Capitol's right over there. And that's where they swore in Donald Trump as the 45th president of the United States. Hey, do you want to say anything? Close it out. Info Wars. The Info Warriors are out yeah. in force today. It's uh, great to be here with... Uh, like-minded people walking around just the energy is incredible uh <clears throat> don't get nervous don't get nervous <laughs> I, i'm speechless i i really i i can't give me a good I'm, laugh like you did last time <laughs> <laughs> oh man i hope i wasn't too obnoxious <laughs> i met this guy last night at the outside the deplorable uh anyway here i'm gonna swing this around i'll 
Well, Cats do go get some battery guys. power because I can't wait to hear all about what happened last night at the deplorable. So, <laughs> yeah, I didn't quite make it in, uh, but I did get some stuff outside. And it, it was interesting. Talked to a lot of people who were victims. Uh, Gavin McGinnis did get into it with some people. Do you have a very so, short cameraman? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tilt that yeah, camera up a little bit. There you go. Or scoot down. There you go. Lean it back. He's not looking at the right shot. Look at that shot. There you go. We had a talking mouth. I have two but cameras no eyes. going at once. The Warhammers. And, actually, I have three. I have a 360 <laughs> camera going as well. So I just took out my earpiece. I can't hear you. I'm going to throw it back to the Central Texas Command Center. This has been Rob Dew, Alex Jones, and a whole host of other good-hearted patriots here of every race, color, and creed uh, here in Washington, D.C., the nation's capital, watching Donald Trump become the 45th president of the United States. And let's MAGA out there, people. We'll see you next time. And we'll be right back. Stay with us.